Hello, Pixies. It is Lady Delighted here with a brand speaking new video. Today, we're going to be talking about Prime Resurgence now that it has officially ended. Prime Resurgence is an event that has lasted for the past about three months and was a mass unvaulting, one the likes that Warframe had never seen before. During these periods, we had a different pair of Prime Warframes and their associated weapons and cosmetics come back to a special and new vendor known as Varzia, introducing a new, well, a couple new resources, one in game known as Aya, shaped as the Tears of My Despair, and the second being Regal Aya, which is a premium currency which you got instead of directly buying any of the Prime Vault packs. Now, I don't have much to say on Prime Resurgence from a pay-for-convenience side. I think it's fine. I think it gave more options and better accessibility to specific aspects of Prime Accesses and Prime Vaults, and that's something that I've liked. I've always wanted to be able to say, well, I know, I just really want this one cosmetic, but like, I have to get the whole pack anyway, so it was more cost-effective for especially the newer, uh, the older players, rather, that had already gotten a lot of their primes but just needed those accessories and things to be able to just grab the Aya, use uh, Regal Aya, and then just use a couple of those coins to get those really specific things. However, my critiques are going to be mostly focused on the Aya and how the Aya felt to myself and the community, as we've had quite a few months of being able to experience and discuss and get opinions on how the Aya farm felt. Now, when it comes to the direct farm of Aya, there are two things to consider. One, there are only two main locations to farm them. That is the Void or from Open Worlds, Fortuna, Cenus, and of course, Deimos. And another thing to consider is that this Aya replaces what would have been the relics from those drop tables, the newly unvaulted relics that would have been in there as was instead of replaced with Aya. Now, you would then trade this Aya with Avarzia in order to get the specific relics Relic or relics that you wanted one for one. All of that on paper sounds fine, and it's great to give us that direct choice. We can guarantee which relics we get through Aya purchase. However, early, early on, we discovered two things. One, it is completely useless to farm Aya in the void if you want to have any sort of actual significant farm, and I am not counting using relic packs or steel essence to farm Aya as a viable farm, as that requires a separate currency. It's using a separate currency outside of the free to everyone methods of going into the void and having a chance or going into bounties and having a chance. So when we take out the steel essence and relic pack farms, then we are left with captures and just normal drops on survival or other time-based infinite missions in the void. And I'm going to start with the void because the void was the most disappointing aspect. And I really do hope that in the future, if Prime Surgeons comes back, as I'm assuming it will in some capacity or we wouldn't be keeping Varzia here with a limited stockpile of stuff to use Aya on, I do think that some very specific tweaks should be made to the Void. Um, and that is specifically because, again, in an hour of doing captures, you would generally see something between three and maybe six yields of Aya, and that is after approximately generally around 100 runs of that capture. And if you're averaging those runs in between 40 seconds to a minute, that adds up pretty significantly. Whereas if you were to give the same amount of time to an hour in pretty much any of the um, open worlds, you would find yields within an hour to be either at the same point or slightly surpassing that of the void. And again, that would be like approximately 100 runs, which would be almost two hours versus a single hour of an open world bounty. Of course, those bounties would also have the different leveling caveats, but again, it was sort of forced into being that the only real viable method, especially after Ghoul Purge was removed from the rotation of Aya was to just simply do bounties forever and ever, which is a fairly punishing game loop, if I'm honest. The Void ought to be a viable contender for Aya farm, so increasing drop rates in the Void or giving more options to get access to Aya, whether that is through some sort of timed enemy event or through some sort of special Aya cache or something along those lines would be dramatically impactful and useful in the overall farm for Aya in the Void. Because the variety is the spice of life, and if a Prime Resurgence event is going to be lasting for multiple months, then doing the same thing over and over doesn't feel very good. Now, this is especially coupled with the second issue and the second point that I'll be making with Prime Resurgence, and that is the amount of time with the drop rates. And as myself as a streamer who does this pretty much full time, I have as much time really as I want to farm these things. However, I know there's a lot of community members, a lot of players who are really only able to 
to dedicate maybe an hour, maybe, you know, 20 minutes to a farm. And that's not a really a long enough t time period to be able to make any significant progress when farming for an event where the end of the week will be trading it in for another. Now, I know on the one hand you have what I just described here, and on the other hand you have the fact that for the last two weeks, this week and the previous week, we had everything come back. And so yes, you could have, in theory, farmed some and just held on to it and then gone for it all now, but at the same time, if you were someone who needed those frames, you were probably hoping to be able to at least get an initial go at them during that first week instead of trying to get them all again with everything else you missed in the last two weeks. So if Permasurgence is coming back in its current state of being a weak rotation, then I do hope that the drop rates are in general increased, and in terms of bounties, I would hope that the bonus bounty during this event period could become a guaranteed Aya drop if completed and all of them are completed, just to get a little bit of guarantee so at least on the, the side of bounties you'd have some guarantee, and on the void you could have some sign of guarantee as well. I'm not gonna try and discuss anything more specifically because those are balancing things that need to be done internally, but just know that as a player I certainly was disappointed that my six hours of steel path survival only yielded me six Aya. I then traded all the steel essence I got and got nearly half of that in about 30 seconds, so that was a little disappointing. Anyway, that's really all I have to say. I do like Prime Resurgence as an event. I think it's great to have this option, and I think it's great to give newer players especially, and even the returning players or just players that miss out on certain primes, a chance to get access to them rapid fire. I just think that A, the time periods either need to be slightly extended, or perhaps we will just have single months of particular frames in this system, in this style, it gives a little bit more time for each rotation, but we're still getting more rotations, uh, or if it's just going to be a block of weak periods that we have get increased drop rates and edits to the drop tables of Aya and ways of getting Aya and the void specifically, and get a little bit more of a guarantee in the bounties. Thank you, and if you enjoyed this video, I'll leave a like, comment, subscribe, and check us out on Twitch. We'll be live Monday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, and I hope to see you all in the Queendom real soon. Bye.